Hey, it is Veronica here. And so I'm sitting outside waiting for a friend to come out of work. And I figure while I'm doing that, let me read a passage from something that I wrote uh, back in 2022. And I titled it, I am free. And I feel like this can be a prayer point for someone who is seeking liberty by way of our heavenly father and developing and building that relationship with him. I feel like this is a uh, just something to reference and something to give hope. I would hope that it gives hope to whoever reads this or listens to this. So here we go. And it says, today I am walking in the grace, abundance, joy, mercy, favor. I put joy again, so that that's a double portion of joy. <laughs> Love, faithfulness, peace, kindness, meekness, goodness, temperance, and strength that my heavenly father has equipped me with in the mighty name of Jesus. And if you don't know, what I have just listed here are the fruits of the spirit. And the fruits of the spirit are a way to know if someone is walking with the Lord, if they have made the Lord you know, first in their life because he will allow the heavenly spirit to reside in your heart. And you can tell like, you know, how it says, uh, test the spirit by the spirit or you know, uh, you can tell a man by his fruits, you know, how he is. So I feel like it is worth noting that if someone is operating with these type of qualities and characteristics about themselves, then they are striving for righteousness and they are walking in the way that God wants them to be on this life. And they are striving along on their destiny path and everything. So, you know, it is with these things that will absolutely help and equip you to walk and venture along your destiny. All right, so I put a, uh, my heavenly father has equipped me with, in the mighty name of Jesus, you know, I, as I just said, thank you, Jesus, for clarity, confirmation, freedom, increase, focus, elevation, discernment, courage, and blessings. I am choosing to flow and grow in the will of God on my life in the name of Jesus. I am choosing to honor the temple that God has blessed me with by taking better care of my body. And I plan to do this by making healthier choices in every aspect. You know, sometimes it may call for a fast and that can help to detox your body on a cellular level. And it may be a fast that the Lord has called you to do for spiritual cleansing. So as always, you just need to build that that relationship up with God so that you can hear from him and understand why and how he is calling you to do or be all right and so um aspects of making healthier choices are also drinking more water eating healthier being intentional being more active with my body or your body getting a gym membership etc um other ways of making healthier choices in in every aspect would be you know in the mental and the uh the mental and emotional aspect your heart's posture you know because where your heart is there your treasure is and you know out of a man's heart is where you can see what what they're dealing with how they're feeling and what they're battling or what they are like excited and ecstatic about what they love you know uh, what they cherish and what is their purpose so it is always imperative and important that you pay attention to that and that could be also considered uh, self-care, which I also like to equate to soul care, because when we are taking care of ourselves, we should be taking care of the mind, the body, and the spirit on the soul. And the soul is made up of your mind, will, and your emotions. So, you know, which also we can say, you know, include the heart in there, because that is like the spirit matter, the heart, and, you know, just it is how you are and how you behave and how you perceive things, how you store everything from everything that has happened to you in this life. So we wanna make sure that the soul is whole. And that is why a lot of us seek healing and you know, um, we have a lot of work to do. And when you do receive that healing by way of partnering with the Holy Spirit and building your relationship with our Heavenly Father through His Son, Jesus Christ, then you like can be for sure that you are on the path to greatness in your life and opening up um, just like a blossoming flower. So, so many good things come when you decide to pursue this, okay?
And so that was uh, the last line that I wrote here was that I pray that you order my steps in your word, Abba, in Jesus name. Amen. So I know I was kind of interrupting and doing some free talking there. So I will go ahead and read this over again, just in case uh, someone would like to recite it and speak this over their life, because it is always imperative that we speak life over ourselves. Okay. You have to always watch the words that you are saying out of your mouth. You do not want to defile yourself or any other man. And, um, you know, you don't want to be held accountable for those words that you say that you don't mean, but you're speaking them out of anger. So it's always just imperative to be vigilant and diligent in all ways of life. From what we speak, from what we intake, from what we see with our eyes, from what we um, hear, you know, our eye gates and our ear gates, we must protect it, okay? Uh, so I'm just going to read this again. I titled it, I am free. Today I am walking in the grace, abundance, joy, mercy, favor, love, faithfulness, peace, kindness, meekness, goodness, temperance, and strength that my Heavenly Father has equipped me with in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for clarity, confirmation, freedom, increase, focus, elevation, discernment, courage, and blessings. I am choosing to flow and grow in the will of God on my life in the name of Jesus. I am choosing to honor the temple that God has blessed me with by taking better care of my body. And I plan to do this by making healthier choices in every aspect. Fasting, drinking more water, eating healthier, being intentional, being more active with my body, getting a gym membership, etc. I pray that you order my steps in your word, Abba, in the name of Jesus. Amen. All right, so that's all I have for now. And yeah, I just, I hope that this blessed someone and I hope that it is something that you can use as a prayer point. And um, I can also include some scriptures to help and back it up for you, all right? As a reference for an even more powerful prayer point. All right, I hope that you are blessed on this day. It is uh, November 11th, 2023, 6.51 p.m. All right, peace.